Remember that your recording is not a live event, so after you've completed your recording, you're going to make it available to your students in my courses. So to do a recording, you click on the record button. You type in a title and put in a presenter's name. It's not required, but it's a good idea to do that. Now you're going to choose your layout. If you choose camera and screen, this will record both your camera and the screen at the same time. If you choose camera, this layout will only do your camera, and screen will do your entire screen. And that's the one I'm going to choose for this particular demonstration. I'm going to go ahead and click continue. And one of the things that's real important before you start your um, recording is to make sure that the volume meter is moving up and down. If you don't see the volume mover moving up and down, then you want to make sure to uh, check out what's going on with your issues with your microphone. Now before you click start, you can also choose, uh, click on choose display if you happen to have one, uh, two or more monitors. So if I click that, I can choose a different display and close that out and it's going to tell me what it's capturing. To get started on your capture, you click start. Once the recording starts, it will minimize um, down to your taskbar. You are then recording whatever you're doing and you can click around and then when you're ready to stop, restore the recording from your taskbar and go ahead and click stop. You can review your recording before you go ahead and finish it if you would like to see how it is and, and I review it. Once I like my review, I can click on the Finish button. Then what you want to do is click Publish to send your recording to the Capture software. It's really very, 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 very important that you choose a folder before you click Publish. And then go ahead and click Publish. The recording will get uploaded to the server. Depending on how long the recording is, it could take longer um, than some others. Once it's uploaded, you're going to see the upload complete. Go ahead and click on the OK button. And then click Yes to clean up this event. It will remove it from your computer. There's no reason to keep it. Then click OK and you're done with your recording. You can close the capture software.